Hmm. The wind is gentle tonight. Soft on the skin and light on the breath. Together with the full and bright moon, it creates the perfect atmosphere for anyone looking for a calming evening. Ah, sounds like it's dinner time. Although, I fear that for the people of this town, that bell signalizes something else entirely. No, for them, the bell of the town hall is a call for convention. They shall assemble in the town hall to discuss the crisis that has struck their quiet little town. A horrid creature that terrorizes the night, stalking people, and filling their hearts with fear before taking their souls. The Midnight Menace. Honestly, I quite appreciate the title they've given me. I feel honored. I gleefully watch from atop the rooftops as the people exit their homes and make their way to the town hall. Oh, the poor souls. Though they look calm, I can sense their fear. I can feel the trembling of their hands as they hold on to each other for comfort. It's such a shame that their attempts at finding a real solution to their predicament is terribly slim. <laughs> I am truly awful for finding such amusement in their suffering. But how could I not? It can't be denied that there is a special kind of bliss in this activity that I partake in. A bliss that many would never understand. I have no shame in indulging myself in the delights of my favorite hobby. And truthfully, hiding behind trees and waiting to pounce on unlucky passers-by could never come anywhere near being as exhilarating. Why would I subject myself to such monotony when the alternative is far more enjoyable? Truth be told, it was never my intention to be scouring the night and hunting lonely prey in the streets from the rooftops. It was pure coincidence that on one particularly serene night, I decided to climb onto my roof to be with the stars. It was a beautiful night. And then there she was, a beautiful young woman dressed modestly, a poor lone soul casually walking the streets past midnight with not a care for her life. Now, there's a reason people around here are advised not to be outside past midnight, and it's precisely because creatures such as myself exist. So really, it was her own fault. I would position myself in the shadows and up on the edges of the rooftops. I'd let myself be seen in silhouette, just enough to inject some fear into her system. Let her know she was being watched and followed. And finally, once the fear had reached a tipping point, I pounced from the darkness and consumed her rich blood, killing her in the process. From that moment on, I became addicted, not just to the adrenaline-filled blood, but to the thrill. <sighs> Father would have abhorred my actions. We are civilized vampires, he'd say. We take our food and we slaughter them properly. We are not savages, and we are not cold-blooded killers. I never did quite agree with him on that. Historically speaking, our kind and the humans were never really on the same side of the fence, and for good reason. We cannot treat them like livestock the same way lions don't treat zebras like livestock. They hunt, and so do we. Father also told me never to play with my food. Well, Father told me lots of things. But he's not here now, and he can't tell me to resist my temptations. And let's be honest, if he were here, if he were to try doing this just once, I bet he'd be absolutely in love with it too. 
I've only been here for three months, but I've already grown so fond of this quaint and charming little town. Fond of its people. Fond of the many quirks to be found around every corner. But alas, all good things must come to an end. It will be sad to see this place so desolate once I'm done. I tip my hat to you, fair folk of the town in the middle of nowhere. It has been a joyous three months, but I now must bid my farewell. As a parting gift, I shall allow you to be part of one final feast. I begin making my way towards the town hall, silently jumping across rooftops unbeknownst to the people below. As I approach the town hall, the wonderfully pungent smell of my food graces my nostrils. Ah, right on time. I've just arrived at the town hall and the clock tower has just struck midnight. Time to feast. As I enter from the bell tower, I find myself immediately intoxicated by the delicious smell of anxious people. I've never seen so many people gathered all at once. Looking down, I struggle to control myself. They're all just standing there, waiting to be devoured. <laughs> Time for my grand entrance. <laughs> it is time for a feast. 